What's up guys, Emperor here and welcome back to part four of the five part series where I rank my favorite League of Legends champions. And today we are in the bot lane. It is a, uh, probably gonna be the shortest video considering, well, there's just not a lot of marksmen right now. And again, this is not an OP tier list. This is 100% my personal tier list. Uh, based on the aesthetics of the champion and the overall fun I've had with it. There's also a disclaimer up here, uh, if we can see. Uh, rank your favorite marksmen in League of Legends. The Corky and Azir problem. Yes, they are marksmen. No, they shouldn't be marksmen, but they are. But they are. So, they are here. Uh, so, uh, I didn't actually put, uh, what is it? Favorites. I think for this one, I can just kind of put my favorites in there and then just kind of jostle them around and talk about it. And then we can just kind of go on from there. Um... Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. Okay. So this will be my favorites list. And I think my favorite, my most favorite AD carry is Zaya. Zaya is probably top five for like overall of my favorite champs. I love Zaya's look. I love her attitude. I think the fact that she's part bird is badass. Uh, second favorite would probably be... Uh, I, I say is actually Jin. I love Jin. I think when Jin came out, it was one of the most hyped that I've ever been for a champion. I think his kit's fun. I think his skins look dope. Uh, I'd say Jinx is probably a third. She's definitely... She's definitely fun. That passive is badass. Uh, fourth, I gotta put Kai'Sa, although I'm not very good at her. <laughs> I'm not a very good Kai'Sa player at all. And I wish I was, trust me. I think Kai'Sa's fun. Um... All right, who do I got for next? Um, Caitlyn, Ash, Lucian. I, I I think we're going to go with this. Ash is probably low tier on my favorite. She's just a super chill <laughs> champion. Um, yeah, I'd say it's about right. Caitlyn was an OG. She's actually like one of the first marksmen I ever picked up. And I had a blast playing here. Same with Lucian. Uh, now we go to the... Oh, wait, can I type? Thank you. Pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, so pretty cool champions. Uh, I'd say Aphelios is pretty cool. Corky is here. I'm just going to question mark them. Um, I think Draven's pretty cool. Ez is pretty cool. Uh, Jace AD, uh, yeah, I guess Jace was AD carry for a little bit. Um, Senna, pretty cool. Uh, this vein's pretty okay. Okay, so out of the, <coughs> excuse me, out of the pretty cool champions, um, I'd say my favorite is probably Senna. I love her aesthetics and her true damage prestige skin actually is pretty insanely cool. I, I, uh, I like it a lot. So she's getting the top spot next. Uh, I'd say Aphelios, although I still have no idea how his kit works. That's uh, his look alone. And the fact that he's got 9,545 and a half different guns is pretty cool. Uh, Draven's another one of those. I love his primetime skin. So he's actually going to get pretty decently high on the pretty cool list. He's a champion that, um, does not have a very good reputation as far as one tricks. I think we all know who. I'm, I'm not knocking him. I love watching him too. Uh, yeah, I'd say he gets about third. Uh, Vayne, I definitely like Vayne. Yeah, 
And I, I, I actually, no, I'm going to put Twitch over Vayne for the exception that, so Twitch had an interaction. Uh, I don't know if he still does. He might have it. But every time that he would build Last Whisper, it was like, he had like this nice interaction where it's like, my Last Whisper is Curdle Pops. And it made me geek out every single time that I heard it. So, it's nostalgia purposes why Twitch is getting a little bit higher up there. Uh, so, next we got the All Right. The All Right tier. Um, mm, oh, wait. I forgot to put Miss Fortune up there. She's one of my favorites. Uh, I'd say she goes right about here. Again, nostalgia purposes. And Samira, I think Samira's pretty cool. Am I good at her? Absolutely not. But I love how she looks. Uh, all right, champions. Mm. Mm. Okay, yeah, we're going to go with that. So... All right, uh, I'd say Tristana. She's almost... No, you know what? We'll put her at the end of pretty cool. All right, champion. So, Kogma. He's almost up there. He's almost pretty cool for me. But he's not quite there. Uh, Kindred. Uh, I think I played her once or twice. Same with Cannon. It was an all right experience. It wasn't anything incredible to me uh then we got puke emoji and then we had what uh oh wait i'm gonna add a row below i'm gonna add two rows one's just gonna say no but I, I think I'm going to put that. I mean, nothing can be worse than a puke emoji. Right? So, wait, we'll uh, delete that row. Yeah. So that will go up one. Okay. All right. So we're good. Uh, Meh. Meh. Like, Corky and Azir go to no. Okay, no. Corky can stay, because Corky actually was a marksman back in the old days. So, I'd say he gets high-end all right. Uh, meh, 80 carries. Uh... Uh... I guess that would... Yeah, okay, so... If we're talking meh... Kalissa's the top of the meh. Like, Kalissa's a weird champion. She looks cool, but she's not very fun to play. Uh, same with Sivir. Like, the fact that my ultimate just makes me fast. Gets me some extra attack speed. It's pretty cool. And the fact that I get to give my uh, whole team uh, stat increases as well. Old Graves AD carry was fun. New Graves, not really so much. Uh, Varus, I, I'd say Varus goes about here. Of course, Azir's in the no tier, because, um, I mean, who plays Azir AD carry? If you play Azir AD carry, let me know. I'd, I'd love to actually watch some of your games. That'd be pretty cool to watch. Uh, Jace AD carry, again, was meh. I, not the most fun. Quinn, same. And that's basically it. That is the 80 carry tier list. Uh, stay tuned for episode five, where we rank supports in our final installment of the series. So until then, guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace.